Tiki Teka has its roots in the passing football of Johan Cruyff's Barcelona and Ajax teams of the 1980s and 1990s. Cruyff, a true pioneer of total football, introduced a dynamic philosophy where players seamlessly shifted positions and moved with grace on the pitch. In the early 1990s, he planted the seeds of Tiki Teka at Barcelona, laying the foundation for a lasting footballing legacy. As Cruyff passed on the torch of leadership, Dutch managers Louis van Gaal and Frank Rijkaard embraced the appreciation for possession and space during their stints at the Catalan club. However, the zenith of Tiki Taka brilliance arrived with Barcelona's renowned La Masia Academy, which nurtured footballing legends like Lionel Messi, Xavi and Andres Iniesta. These exceptional talents embodied the very essence of Tiki Taka, a philosophy refined through La Masia's teachings and later showcased their magical skills under the tactical genius of Pep Guardiola. Tiki Taka reached its pinnacle with Spain's triumphant 2010 World Cup campaign, along with consecutive European Championship victories in 2008 and 2012. However, it was Pep Guardiola's Barcelona that truly elevated Tiki Taka to an art form between 2008 and 2012, securing three La Liga titles and two Champions League trophies. So now the question is, what is Tiki Taka? At its core, Tiki Taka is a footballing philosophy that thrives on short, intricate, and pinpoint passing, all with the primary objective of maintaining possession for extended periods. It's about meticulously maneuvering the ball through various channels to create scoring opportunities. You might be wondering why this particular brand of short, sharp passing was given the name Tiki Taka. In efforts to trace its roots, some have pointed to former athletic Bilbao coach Javier Clemente when he complained about long ball circulations. However, many attribute its origins to the late Spanish broadcaster Andres Montes, who coined the phrase Tiki Teca during his commentary for the 2006 World Cup. Montes used it to describe Spain's mesmerizing passing game, often saying, Estamos tosando Tiki Teca, Tiki Teca roughly translating to, we are playing with light, quick steps. Tiki Taka tactics can be implemented through various formations, but the most common one used is the 4-3-3 formation. In this style of play, every player on the field is crucial, but there are key positions that stand out. The linchpin of the Tiki Taka system is the central midfielder, who must be comfortable on the ball, capable of precise passes under pressure, and adept at reading the game. Another vital role is the false nine, responsible for dropping deep into midfield to receive the ball, create space, and link up with attacking players. The false nine is a critical aspect of Tiki Taka's success. Fullbacks also play a pivotal role, requiring comfort on the ball and the ability to make quick, accurate passes in tight spaces. High pressing is another key feature of Tiki Taka, involving pressuring the opposition in their half to force mistakes and regain possession quickly. Positional play is also fundamental in Tiki Taka, as exemplified by Pep Guardiola at Barcelona. He emphasized specific zones on the pitch, ensuring no more than three players on the same horizontal line or two on the same vertical line. Guardiola ensured that at all times, a player in possession had two options for the next pass, while also making sure that only three players, including the one with the ball, could be in any one zone. The purpose was to encourage players to find zones where they were free to receive and pass, creating a near-automated understanding among players regarding movement and positioning. As we all know, Barcelona quickly began to dominate teams both domestically and internationally under the guidance of Pep Guardiola. However, in the book Pep Confidential, Guardiola's true feelings about Tiki Taka were revealed. I love all that passing for the sake of it, all that Tiki Taka. It's so much rubbish and has no purpose. You have to pass the ball with a clear intention, with the aim of making it into the opposition's goal. The following day, he expands on this message in a meeting with his players. Beat yourselves. You need to dig into your own DNA. I hate Tiki Taka. Tiki Taka means passing the ball for the sake of it, with no clear intention, and it's pointless. He explained further. It is no doubt Tiki Taka, once hailed as the pinnacle of possession-based football, has faced several challenges that have contributed to its decline in recent years. So why is Tiki Taka almost dead now? One of the primary reasons for the fading popularity of Tiki Taka is the increased tactical flexibility displayed by modern teams. 
Opponents have become more adept at adapting their formations and pressing high up the pitch, disrupting the fluid passing patterns that Tiki Taka relies on. This high-intensity pressing approach forces teams to play more direct and faster, making it difficult for the traditional Tiki Taka to thrive. Moreover, coaches studied and devised strategies to counter Tiki Taka, often employing a compact defensive block to deny space and frustrate possession-based teams. Even Tiki Taka's foremost architects, such as Pep Guardiola and Luis Enrique, have evolved their footballing philosophies. Guardiola incorporated a more pragmatic and direct approach in his coaching stints at Bayern Munich and Manchester City. This adaptation reflects his recognition of the changing dynamics of modern football. Luis Enrique, another tiki-taka disciple who managed Barcelona after Guardiola, introduced a more balanced and counter-attacking style during his tenure as the Spanish national team's manager. These shifts in tactics from two of tiki-taka's main proponents highlight the need for adaptability in the ever-evolving football landscape. But tiki-taka's lasting legacy is a timeless reminder of its elegant possession-based play that once enthralled football enthusiasts worldwide. Although its heyday has passed, its impact on modern football tactics remains palpable. As the game continues to evolve, it's essential to appreciate Tiki Teka's role in the sport's development. Like any art form, football thrives on innovation and adaptation to new challenges. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel.